we're going to do now is welcome um, Miss Gambia 1985. She's held the office for 12 months and she's going to come along the stage now. We'd like to welcome on stage Miss Georgette Sally. <laughs> to the Royal Albert Hall. Can you please tell what, what it was like? Oh, it was exciting. I can't remember it even now. Oh, it was lovely. I had a lot of fun. I met friends. And, oh, I'm sorry because I can't go back there. <laughs> Just between the two, is there a chance of competing again in the Miss Gambia pageant? Would you, would you do so? Yes, certainly. The Gambia Beauty Pageant gave me an exposure that is hard to combine. It made me discover who I really am. What would you advise the girls compete in the competition? I wish to advise them to give all they got for the for the contest and to maintain sportsmanship. For only one of them to be crowned as we come here tonight. I would like to wish them the success. Thank you very much, Georgia. Thank you very much. Georgia. Now, and this is where we're going to uh, to move into the first cabaret, and this is the cabaret that involves, as we say, an indigenous dance troupe, a fabulous troupe that have been detained all over Gambia, Senegal, and uh, neighbouring countries. Will you please welcome on stage the Jolla dancers? <laughs> Thank you. 
lady to grace the stage is Ida de Dieu. We will welcome Ida. Ladies, 
dreams and again would love to be a housewife. So she's had a little observation at the back here. Would you please welcome probably the most nervous person in here tonight, Dad O'Bar. This Dad O'Bar. Tell me about. I do beg your pardon, ladies and gentlemen. Keep playing the music now. Oh, nice. judging out there. It's very difficult for our judges to uh, to come to a decision. But I think all the girls, and as I say, they can all hear you because they're not a million miles away. They're in a very, very cold little room at the back there. All the nerves have dissipated now, we hope, because a little later on we're doing the, the evening gown section. So let's give them a nice round of applause because it's been a nerve-wracking night for them too. the talents of Mr. Fogwell Flax.
some nice songs for you I hope tonight we've got this lovely lovely pageant which we're all enjoying I hope but those beautiful ladies representing this lovely country and as we're talking about beautiful ladies I thought I might sing a few songs about lovely ladies and this is one of my favorite songs recorded by a gentleman all the way from France beautiful singer little fella but big voice a fellow called Mr. Charles Aznavour and this song is all about the perfect creation that all us fellas talk about most of the time. Woman. She. Fogwell's on MD all the way from England, Jan, and of course Patrick on the drums, and our friend, Mr. Pepsi Les. Thank you very much indeed, Legs. You can see Fogwell's show every Monday and every Thursday here at the Combo for the next so if you'd like to pop along and see his show. Uh, we'd like just briefly to introduce our panel of judges. 
uh, sat along the front with an unenviable task. First of all, we have Mr. Omar Deba. He's the managing director of Gambia National Insurance Corporation, and his hobbies are athletics and gardening. Mr. Omar Deba, thank you for joining us on the uh, judging panel, sir. Next, we have Mrs. Our Savage, teacher at Gambian Muslim High School, BA of Arts and Postgraduate Education, Mrs. Our Savage. Thank you very much indeed. She's also the Invisible Lady. Oh, you're there. Thank you very much, Mrs. Savage. Uh, thirdly, Mr. Geoffrey Renner, the Managing Dir Director of Social Security and Housing Finance Corporation. Mr. Geoffrey Renner, thanks for <laughs> Fourthly, we have Mr. Mustafa Sise, he's a, a B.A. in Criminology and a Master from Cambridge University, Administrative Officer at the Minister of Interior. Thank you. <laughs> Number five on the panel of judges is Mrs. Fatima Alami. She's an importer of fashions and jewellery and general merchandise. She's lived in London, Israel, Belgium and Zaire and has travelled the world dealing in precious gems. We see some precious gems on the stage. Thank you very much for coming this evening. This is Fatima Alam. Thank you. Number six on the panel of judges is Mr. Bai Abi Fahl. He's the acting principal of School of Public Health, has a Master of Science degree in Health Education and has studied at the University of London and the American University of Washington, D.C. Thank you for coming on this evening. As a footnote, uh, Mr. Bai Abi Fall also specializes in sexual transmitted diseases. <laughs> and Patrick, our drummer, would like to have a word with you this evening, sir, if you could... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> number seven on the panel of judges is, is Ms. Uh, I think this lady must be a feminist, Ms. Yandin Nyai, Diploma, Diploma in Secretarial Studies, and she is currently appointed to the Establishment Office of Private Secretary. Thank you very much indeed for coming. <laughs> Almost there, Ms. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Weed Sohika Bensuda is our eighth panel of judges, a professional makeup artist and currently, oh no, and a ha hairdresser. She's also a designer of clothes. Thank you very much indeed. She also, she also made a ball our girls this evening. I think you've done a wonderful job. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Yes. Deserves a big round of applause. The next young lady is Institute Sunny. Can you both on stage? Institute Sunny. Shirley Bassett type dress up. With a matching necklace there looking very, very attractive indeed. Is that too sunny? Number three on your list. Is that too, may I just ask you, you're interested in films and so on. If you were lucky enough to a movie, which film star would you like to be with in this movie? Yeah, for so I would like to be a movie star. I think she's going to be one. But which, which movie star would you like to be in the movies with? Indian. Indian movie star. An Indian movie star. Not James Bond. Anybody like that? No. No, an Indian movie star. I don't know which one you mean, but have you won a contest? Yeah, one of the contests, my re Miss Regional Contest. And when was the Miss Regional Contest? 1986. And you were the winner there. Yeah. How many girls were involved in that contest? We are seven in number. Seven in number, and you, you did very, very well to win first prize in that contest. Yeah. Let's all keep our fingers crossed for you tonight. Thank you very much yeah, indeed. Thank you. Is that too, Sammy?
So one of your ambitions was to be private secretary to the president. Could you give me any information on that? No, I didn't even say that. Oh, you didn't say that? <laughs> oh, she wants to speak. She wants to speak about the Speaker of the House because she likes him. Would you like to say a few words about the Speaker of the House? Yes, when I was a school girl, my uncle used to work for Chamber of Commerce. So one day he said to me, I want to send you to Njai PP. All the time I wanted to know who this Njai PP is. So one day I went to the office, I went to the secretary, I said to her, can I speak to Mr. Njai? And she said to me, I'm afraid he's busy. So I hand over the letter to her. Whilst I was going out, I saw Mr. Njai coming out from his office. So I said to my mind, Yeah, you don't mind, but your husband is great. I don't think we can ask Mary any more questions. It's going to lead too far, really, it is. We'll wait for the second part of the night. We'll wait as well. Mary told me. That is one girl with confidence. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome back. Rosemary Hudson. to know she's also very confident. I made the mistake last time. I, I said um, about the president's secretary. It was Rosemary that wanted to be a private secretary of the president. Why, Rosemary? Yeah, I want to be a secretary because I want to read some something high. I remember my father used to say, "We're reaching, reaching for something high." That's why I want to be the secretary to the president. <laughs> And that part, if you do win the pageant, what would be the most, uh, what would be the thing you would like to see when you visit England, if you win the pageant? Yeah, the most, the, the most thing I like to see when I go to England is to visit the Queen. Well, I'm sure she'd be very pleased to meet you as well. <laughs> she would be, with your personality. Thanks for being with us. Ladies and gentlemen, okay, Rosemary Nielsen. if you have any unusual talents.
May I ask you, why would you like to be Miss Gambia? Manding. My wish is to speak in Mandingo. Thank she said she knows. All right. Okay. My been asked why she wants to win this Miss Gambia. My said she knows she's very pretty and she knows she's going to make it tonight. She's going to win the Miss Gambia 1986 tonight. Thank you very much indeed. Mai Yata, another lady with confidence. Next we have Miss Bar. Yellow Bar, ladies and gentlemen. I'll just repeat that Jado is five foot five and she's age nineteen. Jado's wearing a beautiful grey and silver dress tied at the waist with split sides. going to speak in Wolof. Uh, we'd like to ask Dado uh, what are her hobbies? Dado, I'm a hobby. 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 Man, I'm a hobby. I'm a basketball. I'm a cinema. I'm a dance. Dado's hobbies are basketball, movies, and dancing. Wanna say anything? Yeah, uh, I think we all understood that. <laughs> Without translation. Uh, have you have you ever won any titles before? Miss Gambia wala any competition she banjo. No, Musumako attend na be my first time put attend for. This is her first time competing, Miss Gambia, or any other thing. Well, I think she's shown a lot of nerve and she's done very, very well to come out here and entertain us with a beautiful dress and a swimsuit. Thank you very much indeed, Dado Pa. Now we come to... Patu Samba. Patu came in very, very late in the competition, in fact, about five o'clock this evening. She was taking exams and so on and she's... She's wearing a very, very lovely dress. In all ranks. With a button tie at the back. Black shoes and the traditional hairstyle. Back to a sample. 5 foot 6 tall. 36, 25, 36. Fatu is a receptionist and would like to be a beautician. And from here, I don't know whether you can tell, the makeup is absolutely perfect, beautifully made of that. Fatu, let's just ask you a couple of questions, if you don't mind. What qualities do you think go to make a good receptionist? What, what, what sort of qualities do you need to be a good receptionist? Somebody who is intelligent, smart, and um, very... And very smart. I think she's got that in a nutshell. Um, if, if you were a beautician, if you do get to be a beautician, which famous face would you like to make up? <laughs> I 
A film star or a politician? A politician. A politician she likes, right? Any particular politician? Yes, somebody. <laughs> yes, somebody. She's not coming. So tonight, because I think we have one or two politicians on the judging panel, so I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you very much indeed. Fatu Sam. Fatu Sam. That's the last of our young ladies in uh, in evening gowns. What we're going to do now is we're going to give our judges a chance to make their minds up on the final scores there. A very very difficult task tonight of course. Nine beautiful young ladies in nine wonderful costumes. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a nice round of applause for the girls as they come back for the judges last examination. happy today we do have the results of tonight's contest and uh, these results will be announced in no particular order. These are the preliminary results I should say. It's a reduction now to five out of ten and the final proceeding will be one question to each young lady and then we will know the winner. Uh, the five remaining contestants are as I say, in no particular order. Number three, Isatu Sane. Isatu Sane. Next we have number two, Monica Musa. Number five, Rosemary Yunsen. Rosemary. Number nine is Fatu Samba.
And finally, number five is number four on the card, Mary Jo. Mary Jo. What we're going to do now, ladies and gentlemen, is take distance. In fact, we're going to take them round to a box at the back there because they don't know what question is going to be asked of them and we'd like to hear a different reply, if possible, from each of every one of them. So, can we ask our five contestants to withdraw from the stage and we'll have a nice round of applause as they withdraw and then there'll be the all-important question and then the final result. Ladies and gentlemen, number three. Is Isa too sunny? Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Isa too. Then we have Monica Musa. Thank you very much, Monica. Thank you. And of course, Rosemary Yunsen. <laughs> Thank you, Rosemary. Number two, Samba. Thank you, Fatu. And finally, Mary Jo. Thank you very much indeed, Mary. The question tonight is, winning tonight means you are a contestant in the Miss Universe and Miss World pageants. If you're asked to tell the other contestants one reason that you are glad to be a Gambian, what would you tell them and why? Mary Jo. For Miss Gambia Beauty pageant, I go for Miss World, I tell them how beautiful the Gambia is. Lovely beaches we've got, nice hotels, friendly and warmly people out here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed, Mary Jo. An excellent reply. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mary Jo. question you're probably wondering what we're going to ask you is this one. Winning tonight means you are a contestant in the Miss Universe and Miss World pageants. If you are asked to tell the other contestants one reason that you are glad you're a Gambian, what would you tell them and why? I will tell them that I'm glad being a Gambian because um, I love the country and I think it's, it's very nice anyway. I love it. And... Um, why I like it is because it's so peaceful, so quiet, and people are so beautiful, so nice, and so calm. And I think, and um, we have, I can say, very beautiful people here, people like myself. <laughs> I'm modest as well. Thank you very much, Monica. Glad to join Mary on the stage. Monica Musa. Our next contestant is number three. It's up to Sunny. The question, Miss Satu, is winning tonight means you are a contestant in the Miss Universe and Miss World pageants. If you're asked to tell the other contestant one reason that you'd be glad you're a Gambian. What would you tell them and why? Well, I'm happy tonight because I'm a Gambian. I'm happy to represent my country as a Gambian to the Miss Universe and Miss World Contest. And what would you tell the other contestants 
I'm very happy to that we made good friends among us during our camp in the hotel. So I thank all the other contestants. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And the next one is number five and it's Rosemary Jensen. question for you. Winning tonight here means you're a contestant in the winning winner of the Miss Universe and Miss World pageants. If you're asked to tell the other contestants one reason that you're glad that you're Gambian, what would you tell them and why? Well, first of all, I'll tell them that I'm proud to be a Gambian. That Gambia is a peaceful and beautiful country. The people are charming and hospitable. It's a country with democracy. It's a country with democracy, where people are free to do what they like and say what they like. And I think that's the most important thing. Thank you very much. Yours be you. Thank you. And finally, we have contestant number five. No, 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 oh, he's only got one hand up, sorry. I'll have to add the other fingers as well. It's... <laughs> No, Monica's there. Number nine, Fatu Samba. Thank you, Terry. Fatu Samba. Your applause, please. Contestant number nine, Fatu Samba. Hello, Fatu. Fatu, come a little closer. Winning tonight means you're a contestant in the Miss Universe and Miss World pageant. If you are asked to tell the other contestants one reason you are glad you are Gambian, what would you tell them and why? I'll be glad to tell um I tell them I tell them that I'm a Gambian. I'm proud of myself because of a Gambian. I'm pretty, I'm intelligent and I am decent. So, that's why. She's only telling the truth. Give her a chance. What would you tell the other contestants about the Gambia? I tell them the Gambia is a peaceful country and we are loved by each other and we are always helping each other. Thank you very much indeed. Our final contestant, Fatu Sam. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to give uh, you and the judges one last chance to ascertain who's going to be our winner. So we'll have a little bit of music in the background while the judges and the audience take their last look at our final contestant. the competition we're just going to give our judges the chance to digest that small five minutes while I digest one or two flowers 19 
85. And introduce ready, Georgette Sully. Fortigenic is going to be crowned by Georgette Sally, and the winner is Isatu Sunny. Yeah. receiving in actual fact for her prize as Miss Photogenic a plane trip to France to Paris and we hope now she's going to be crowned Georgette Sally have you been to Paris before? no, no. it's going to be my first experience it'll be a lovely experience as well Georgette Sully is going to crown Isatou Sunny, Miss Fortigenic 1986. Isatou Sunny, thank you Georgia. remaining the results are here now and they'll be read in reverse order and the fourth is a plane trip to Liberia and the prize goes to fourth runner-up Fatou Samba third runner-up will also receive a trip to Liberia, a plane trip. In fact, this is the second time on stage. You've seen it before. Is that too sunny?
A second runner up. Mr. Two, John on the stage, please. The second runner up in the prize is a play trip to Las Palmas. And the second runner up is Mary Jo. <laughs> to the results. The first runner-up with a plane trip to Paris, France as well. And the first runner-up is Monica Moussa. Miss Gambia, 1986. Thank you. 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 Thank you.